Hey there, welcome to the program. This is Our Healthy Homes. OurHealthyHomes.com is the big website that you can go to or give Sheila a ring a ling a ling at 651 775 9194. I'm Keith Hittner, the senior, along with the lovely and talented Sheila Hittner. And we are talking about the four pillars of a healthy home your real estate, your ecosystem, your body, and your mind. And we are going to dial in on, I think, body and mind this segment. On the edge, on the cutting edge, hang on <laughs> to your you seats, this ladies and be jelly one. beans, because this is going to be <laughs> a good show. All four pillars of your healthy home need to be in place, or, Sheila, what happens? The roof caves in. The roof comes tumbling down. All right. Okay. I won't say what he wants me to say. No, she never does. <laughs> Sheila, tell us about uh, muffin tops. Oh, yeah. I, you know, my new passion. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um... Are you tired of battling right with that muffin top? Um, it's it's a big deal. Um, so if you're over 40 and you've got an unwanted muffin top and you want to say goodbye to that, um, I am uh, here to help you be um, your coach, uh, your guidance, um, and help you get there and achieve a happier, healthier, healthy you, right? Um, and so if you know of anybody, uh, share this with them. Um, if you yourself are um, embarrassed about how you look, uh, you're not happy with how you look or feel. Uh, uh, some people are tired, ashamed of themselves. Uh, they don't need confidence anymore, and uh, you don't want to go to public events. What, whatever, whatever the the pain point is that you have with your your muffin top and your body, I am here to help you. So, we've got a new program that we're rolling out. For anybody over 40 that would like some coaching. How do they get a hold of you to sign Six, up for the program, Sheila? 651 775 9194. Any online opportunities to get a hold of you? OurHealthyHomes.com. There you go. OurHealthyHomes.com. Get rid of the muffin top, ladies. So, And gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Just, just got to get that in there because there's plenty of guys that look like they just ate a, a Michelin tire uh, walking into the coffee shop ordering their milkshake for breakfast. Um, okay, so we are talking with Amber Garofalo. Close. Close. <laughs> Garofalo. 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 Yeah. Okay. All right. Amber Garofalo. I'll, you'll pronounce it. You'll correct me many times uh, throughout the day. <laughs> okay. That's okay. Or you could change your name to Smith. I'm not, I don't have any problem with that one. I've commonly gone by Amber G. I Amber G. I'm good. I'm good with that. <laughs> Amber G. All right. So you've started a new business in Minnesota. And uh, cutting it, edge, yeah. It's a cut, well, it's a cutting <laughs> law change uh, the first of of, uh, August. of August, which allowed for recreational use of marijuana, uh, ganja, mm-hmm. ganja mama, mm-hmm. uh, in uh, the state of Minnesota. Lots of controversy about it. Lots of the wondering why are we doing this, for what reason, and there's uh, point and counterpoint on all that. We're going to get into all of that stuff, but mm-hmm. just from a from a curiosity standpoint for myself, I'm just curious as to what attracted you to it, what drew you to get into that business. Uh, for those of you who don't know Amber G, she's a, a very well known and respected loan officer in the in the, our real estate community. And uh, all of a sudden now she's you know selling drugs. So we're just we're curious <laughs> about what what's going on there and how you got interested in it. Well, I'm selling plant medicine. Okay. There right. you go. Right. Because you know that's exactly what it is. All and right. People need to understand that. And I knew uh, I've been around the plant in a lot of ways, shapes, forms throughout my life. Mm-hmm. And I've used it medically throughout my life at various times without knowing it was a medical thing that I was, it was helping me with Okay. until just recently working with doctors through a medical, um, journey and with cannabis and learning how to use mm-hmm. it to replace pharmaceuticals. And I knew Minnesotans needed normal people to step out and, yes and say, Hey, I use cannabis daily because I do. I know attorneys that do. I know doctors that do, you know, it's, it's, it's a, it's an alternative to taking a pill at this point Mm -hmm. for a lot of people. So 
Sheila likes to tell the story about because Young Living has a CBD product as well, mm -hmm. and and uh, it it does not have, have any THC in it. So that if you are uh, a firefighter or a policeman or, mm -hmm. or military, military and you have to be tested and mm -hmm. pass a test, you can take this product mm -hmm. and and uh, and pass all the tests. But th the discovery about what cannabis really does is really accented by Tr by Chernobyl. And what happened with yeah. the Chernobyl, nuclear yep. plant in Chernobyl? Why don't you talk about that, Sheila? So for for you guys that remember Chernobyl, um, after that that Merc or that disaster, mm -hmm. right? They took and they planted the hemp plant, and the hemp plant was designed then to take all the toxins out of the air and then out of the ground. So that was a way to do that, uh, and so that's. That was a great plan, mm -hmm. um, and so the concern, and I, I like to say right now we're in the wild, wild west of this phase, mm -hmm. right, because of um, not having really any FDA regulations around it. And so with that then, if you don't have an organic grower, right, and organic land and things like that, you don't know what you're getting. Right, the toxins. Right, mm -hmm. between the pesticides, herbicides, you know, the forever chemicals, you know, the glyphosate, like all the bad things that are really ripping up people's bodies. Mm -hmm. um, and so I know that, you know, FDA has shut down some, again, with you know, some companies that didn't have any CBD in their products because, what was it, 2000. 15 that the farm bill was released I think 18, so. 18 18 18 it's been, yeah um so then it kind of went wild wild mm -hmm. because there weren't any really regulations and whatnot so how many how many really organic growers are there around because that's what you want you don't want to now get into this right right product. well minnesota surprisingly is like one of the first states out of all the 23 that have been legally passed that had a hemp, a thriving hemp business before marijuana. So they, we've had great CBD products in state being produced that have changed lives. Organic farmers, mm -hmm. a lot of people that are very passionate about their craft and about growing these products because at a high quality. Because and medical them grade, away. medical grade, and for medical use has been approved for quite some time. Correct. Yeah. Yep. The medical program in state has been limited but available for a little while now. Um, they've been expanding it, but not not to the extent that other states have. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's it's interesting that you can go to the doctor and get prescribed a narcotic or an amphetamine. Or worse, yeah. you know, sometimes um, very simply for something. I think it's not as simple as it used to be. That's mm -hmm. good. Um, but, you know, we're not allowed to utilize a plant in the same way. It just right. doesn't mm -hmm. make sense for. Mm -hmm. Well, it's really crazy to for, for a lot of people who've, who've actually taken the time to study it. Hip has been around for thousands time. and thousands of years. I mean, right. virtually every ship that ever sailed. Uh, has got a hemp rope on board, yes. and for and so it was grown commercially uh, way back in the day for the, because it's a wonderful fibrous product and can be used into ropes and stuff. And they smoked it mm -hmm. just like the uh, other ancient uh, civilizations, uh, you know, used marijuana or used uh, uh, tobacco and and a, a number of other leaves. Uh, and herbs that were smoked and used in this part of their culture and just part of everything. And it wasn't until um, the U.S. government got involved in it, uh, you know, many years ago. I don't know all the details of it that passed along. Like made they it, do. Made it, <laughs> yeah, and made it a drug. Right. That w had to be regulated. And, a and, scheduled uh, drug. A scheduled drug, <clears throat> which now uh, they're basically we're coming full circle now uh, and getting back into it. How many shops like yours, what's the name of your shop now? Ganja Mamas. Ganja Mamas. Now, is it a physical location? It's a physical location okay. in Lake Elmo. We're right on Highway 36. If you're on your way to Stillwater, you can take a right-hand turn right into our store um, before you hit downtown proper Stillwater. Okay. And how long have your doors been open? We opened mid-March. Okay. And we're in a building that's been undergoing renovation, too. Okay. And so we just got into, like, kind of our permanent space this last month. So mid-March, the law hadn't changed yet. Correct. So under the counter, is that the kind of thing that you're doing? No, not okay. under the counter okay. at all. <laughs> we're selling, just like you are saying, uh -huh. hemp has been legal for... Uh, 
the several years now, these products are derived from hemp, even okay. though they contain THC, they're classified a little bit differently. We okay. can talk more about that. Okay, so when we come back from break, this is Our Healthy Homes, ourhealthyhomes.com. Stick around, we're going to find out all about it. Uh, <laughs> what's going on in Minnesota? What, what's happening in Minnesota? I know, Ladies it's, and a, gentlemen, yep, we it's are, hip here. I we used you. to be a very conservative state, but no more. <laughs> now we're cutting edge on everywhere. I don't know uh, it's cutting edge, just leading something. Our Healthy Homes, ourhealthyhomes.com, 651-775-9194. Give the lovely intel to Chila, ring a ling a ling We'll be right back. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back to the program. This is Our Healthy Homes. Trevor, he's out there in the back here smoking. He's got a pipe going on <laughs> back there. This is Our Healthy Homes, ourhealthyhomes.com, 651-775-9194. Give Sheila the ring-a-ling-a-ling, and she'll be happy to stir you in the right direction, get you hooked up uh, where you need to be hooked. All right. right. So modalities. Modalities. I got them in my pocket. Amber G., we're talking to her about What's a cannabinoid or what? Cannabinoid. You, cannabinoid. I'm glad you asked. So <laughs> the one plant has like over 120 little miracle drugs in them. Okay. And that's a cannabinoid. A cannabinoid. One of them is CBD. Uh-huh. One of them is THC. Okay. We're learning now through legalization and actually being able to test, test and utilize it, right? these things medically and monitor them what other cannabinoids are doing for major disease and minor, you know, temporary pains and aches that people have that they can be using the plant in specific ways. And genetic code reconstruction, which is very good for that. We have a class that that actually teaches on that too, and they talk about these elements within the plant and how amazing they are because they do go through the blood-brain barrier directly into the cells and do their work. Uh, people tend to get hung up on the THC side of things, the hallucinogenic side of things, and and uh, there's a large uh, fear in the population over um, we're we're entering a, you know an, a yet another alcohol-like product into the marketplace for people to do stupid you know get high on and do stupid things, and with this with this particular um, product. It's no different than alcohol. I mean, you can't drive when you're high. You can't go to work when you're high. If you need to be tested, you need to be tested. Just like I can't, you can't show up at the if you're a policeman or anyone with a gun. If you if you uh, uh, use uh, cannabis on a on a regular basis, can't own a gun. I mean, there's all kinds of rules and regulations out there already that have already been in place. I'm curious about the. Uh, you said that you're open in March. So you're are you selling other products from the hemp plant then? Yes, Clothing exactly. Clothing and such? So all the products uh, in last summer, the kind of bill that was accidentally passed allowed Minnesota to sell hemp-derived products containing THC as long as it was low dose. Okay. So low dose is, is traditionally 5 milligrams per piece of THC, which is kind of not more than a beer would feel for a lot of people. Okay. Um, and then up to 50 milligrams per package. So okay. if you have gummies, that means five milligrams per gummy and there's 10 in there. Mm-hmm. That market will still be intact even with legalization. That's 10 beers. So you eat the whole pack. And you just <laughs> well, I'd be easy pack. to eat the whole pack. <laughs> I mean, you know. I mean, there's chocolates and caramels and really delicious products that we carry containing THC or CBD only and things like that. We have some products that are specifically geared towards inflammatory um, things like CBG is a cannabinoid that's targeted towards inflammation on a lot of people and really helpful there. And, you know, for the listeners, you do have the option of both, right? So Mm -hmm. if you, if you don't want that, you know, we, Young Living's got the, 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 um, CBD without the THC in it. Mm-hmm. So they still have, you know, benefits and, and things like that. So all the way around, it's a, it's a good product, right? Because yeah. we go back to it being plant-based, right? right. That's mm-hmm. what you would, that's what our essential oils are, you know, all of that. Um, and that's where whatever has been created pharmaceutically, that's where it started from anyway, mm-hmm. was a plant, Right, such as oregano, for example, right. you know, uh, a, a really good uh, plant that, um, you know, s- supports um, fungus and, you know, and things like that. And it that. tastes darn good. Yeah. 
Sure. Especially in, in uh, yeah. tomato sauce. Well, okay. and with the cannabinoids, too, your body has an endocannabinoid system. And similar to the essential oils, they can figure out which ones trigger certain C1 or C2 receptors within the body. And we're learning that with the cannabis plant, too, that there are certain receptors like CBN that go directly to trigger the sleep receptor. So mm-hmm. it's allowing people that are using CBN-based products to have uh, sleep that's you know deep and lasting and dream again for the first time in mm-hmm. years, which is really cool to hear. Um, so, you know, there's some really remarkable things, and that's not even a psychoactive cannabinoid within the plant, just like CBD isn't. So, yeah, I mean, I fell in love with a lot of other cannabinoids of the plant opening a marijuana ready right. store. Right. Um, you know, we do plan to get a full cannabis license or apply for one with the state when they're ready. So what's that going to ta- what's that going to look like? Well, I think they're still in the process of hiring everyone within the Office of Cannabis. Okay. And then they're going to be going through rulemaking. So they have to, they'll look at what the law says and they can ultimately change things that they deem like it's not going to fit the market or I think I know what their process and procedure is I'm not an expert on this yeah yeah but um once they set the rules um and regulations for us then they should open up the application process so the law was changed and and, but they haven't even prepared to right so enact it yet uh, outside of the tribes who, through their sovereignty, were able to open, Crank like up. Red Lake opened, mm-hmm. I think is the closest or only thing open. Um, we won't have legal cannabis in the state of Minnesota probably until 2025. So we've got. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, we've got a long ways to go because of the administrative things of bringing this illicit market online. into a legitimate market. So it when you go to the office up. of cannabis, mm-hmm. we got a bunch of guys with uh, bell bottom, big, great big bell bottoms on. And, <laughs> I love bell bottoms. Uh, big buckles on. They're their really pants, good for my know, figure. Bell bottoms are cuffs cuffs good for my everything. figure. The people in this space are pretty remarkable yeah. and really cool people. Yeah, I you bet know? they are. Yeah, uh, they've seen a lot and experienced. So, a lot. what training do you are you required then as an operator? To go through in order to obtain a license, do you even know what the answer to that is yet? Somewhat, okay. yeah, somewhat. We're we're getting prepared. It's you know it's getting your compliance in pa- in place, uh-huh. um, big time. Registering with the state, which they just opened that process now, and saying we are selling these products. Uh, we had the tax that started on the products, even the hemp derived ones effective July 1st. So we're now taxing and paying that regularly to the state. So getting in compliance with um, with opening it per their rules and regs and uh, hopefully being, you know, how many applicant. How many uh, uh, businesses like yours are there in the state? Or is, and is there a cap on the number? Are they regulating like, oh, no, we can't. You can't go into the gas station and buy this like you can buy a pack of cigarettes. Well, so they are keeping this low-dose market intact. And so there are going to be businesses just like mine now that have these products and they'll stay in that space maybe. Or there'll be a lot and more and availability. And won't go to the next step. Right. You're, okay. you're going to have THC-based products now in Lunds and Byerly's. Oh, really? So they're going to be able to be carried in liquor stores and things like that. Low dose, A uh, low though. dose. Okay, yep. so what, what qualifies as a low dose? So five milligrams max typically per piece or per section of okay. piece. And then anything pa- anything above that then is... And anything more than 50 milligrams per container is, so is considered high dose. Mm-hmm. So everything and, has and to we be don't tested. Have, we don't have any <clears throat> regulations around high dose yet. Well... No, we don't. Okay, is the answer. But okay. we will, and and but so what's be been approved only in by the, the state? But facilities. Correct. Yeah, yeah. you'll have that, to have a cannabis license to sell to that higher to level the higher to dose. sell flour, to sell vapes, things like that. You'll have to have a cannabis license. So, in the in this you know holistic natural world, the the CBD has been around for a long time. Mm-hmm. It really I has. I think it's like predates 2000 BC or something like that that yeah. they document being it being used. Cannabis. Yeah, but as far as like naturopaths and if you watch <clears throat> The Truth About Cancer and all mm-hmm. those holistic doctors, like this has been used for, for quite a while. And and I have a gal um, on, on my Young Living team and her uh, naturopath had given her um, CBD. And at the time, you know, this was like years ago when it mm-hmm. wasn't even talked about. Mm-hmm. And uh, actually, quite a few people that had gotten CBD with THC in it from their from their natural pass, and then um, they didn't really realize it. They just like 
took it because, you know, it was, you know, going to help them with whatever the issue was. Mm -hmm. But once that farm bill lifted in 2018, I can't tell you how many people then were willing to, to openly share about what they were taking from their natural path. Mm-hmm. And, and so many of them were like, Cause there's a stigma on it. Right. Yeah. Cause there's a stigma on it. Yeah. And so many of them were like, it looks like crap. It tastes like crap. You know, mm-hmm. All this stuff. So when, when young living came out with theirs, it was just like a whole new world because it's got some essential oils in it. And it mm-hmm. tastes good and it doesn't, you know, um, and it was actually cheaper. She's uh, quite a few of them said, um, but so it isn't anything new, right? No. Especially to this whole, uh, holistic side of things. And no. like anything else, I mean, once production gets in yes. fully, costs always will come down as production. Yeah, now, correct. demand's going to increase, too. As it becomes more normalized and more accepted, there'll be a higher demand. The 5%, 5 milligrams, is that what the dosage five is? 5 milligrams. 5 milligrams. I mean, I'm to, for the listener to get their head around it, just think of 3-2 beer. Mm-hmm. You know, you can get 3-2 beer a lot of places. You can go mm, you know, gas station, you know, but, they yeah. but they don't have a liquor license. So right. if you want to get strong beer, you got to go to the liquor store or got to go someplace where they got a license to sell it. This is kind of the same as that, only a more expanded product line and, and uh, more uses. This is Our Healthy Homes. We're going to be back with Amber G. right after these messages. OurHealthyHomes.com, 651-775-9194. I want to know what you think about the future of this with holistic medicine and how that all kind of ties in and used together. Sheila kind of alluded to that mm-hmm. uh, this time. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the program. This is Our Healthy Homes. I'm Keith Hittner, Sr. with the lovely and talented Sheila Hittner. And we're talking with Amber G. We're talking about cannabis and uh, the cannabinoids and all, <laughs> Hard word to all, say. Of the, all of the stuff. When we went out to break, I, mean, I want to get into two things. First of all, I just wanted to, we touched on it just for a second, but I, I want to hear more of your thoughts on it. And that is the stigma of using uh cannabis marijuana whatever you, whatever you want to call it because i come out of the 60s man so i mean we're talking mm-hmm. mushrooms lsd you know pot was you know my college years i can remember some of it uh some of them uh so now now from this old guy's standpoint we look back on that and it's like whoa ho, ho, ho. you know because i knew a lot of potheads when i was, was bad coming news. up and it was not a good thing so Talk about that stigma, if you will, sure. and the application then to more of a holistic medicine thought process. Yeah, so the stigma, obviously, we've had an illegal black market, and if you did it, you were found to be guilty, criminal. a criminal, you can't vote, you get your rights stripped away from you. And so, you know, that stigma has done a lot of psychological damage, I think, to mm-hmm. America, the mm-hmm. whole culture, really. Yeah. Um, and that's only been the last hundred ish years plus years that that's been around mm-hmm. that way. I think that as we lift the stigma, you know, it's interesting because some of my friends who have younger kids, they know what the pot things are is medicine. They say it's medicine and they know. And I think that that's so interesting because as they grow old, that's all they're going to know. They're not going to know, you know, I've been in jail for be having possess the plant and I've been you know <laughs> I've been through it all my you know so and and uh it's um it's been a journey I think everybody's I think what people need to realize is there's benefit beyond the the feeling of getting high and mm-hmm. for like somebody like me I don't really get high like I'm using it at a microdose level for my depression my ADD my anxiety for sleeping for o- other things so um, and there's cancer patients that are using mm-hmm. high doses of THC and CBD, and yeah. it's it's helping them live longer, mm-hmm. live more full lives, um, and in some cases is helping to shrink tumors. A lot of people don't know this because mm-hmm. of the stigma. Like this mm-hmm. has all been masked to us, and more than likely because we have you know people making multi millions of dollars selling us a Ben yeah, Gay product billions, yeah. right. or yeah, an perhaps. Advil mm-hmm. you know product versus if you have a headache I put a CBD cream on you know a spot that I need mm-hmm. it you know I don't even take an Advil anymore you know what I like <laughs> to just make a point if I could and I'd like you to address it is that the number and variety of 
products that are available because I think for most people in my in your 50s and 60s when you think of of uh, marijuana hemp you're thinking of putting it in a pipe and smoking it yeah on a Friday night you're rolling along, a joint along, and getting along, super high a, right? along with a yeah six pack of PBR <laughs> right. and you know you're rolling it out for a good time that is really not the focus here at all some people are always going to do that and right just like yep. some people are going to drink too much right exactly um and so it's the smoking and and we've had 20 years now or more of of saying smoking equals bad Mm -hmm. smoking equals bad so now here we are introducing another product that you can smoke Mm -hmm. do you get lung cancer from it or what's the what's the word on that well you're smoking something Uh right and i don't know that they have enough research study to say what the long-term effects are on that but there's also pure ways to use the product you can use tinctures you can use um, creams, creams, you can use suppositories, you can, I mean, that for cramps, for all sorts of things, it's pretty remarkable, all the products that are available. Like I said, you have over 120 cannabinoids in the plant. You have 120 different medicines or cures within that plant that can treat different things, go to different C1, C2 receptors within the body to do what they're supposed to do. And I'm going to tell you, <laughs> Everybody has receptor sites in their bodies that need some love. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like that. I mean, you know, I always tell people, you know, you might not feel like you need it in your arm, Mm -hmm. but but you you might have a receptor site there. And when you take it, it knows where to go. Where your receptor site? Mm-hmm. What about, about I got kids? Okay. Like what about kids? Ooh. Okay, because you know if it's if it's the mil- five milligram mm-hmm. thing, then well, where kid, are we at with kids? The- shouldn't have THC unless it's being you know administered to treat a tumor situation, which there From are like situations from RSO, or like, that. like and that's not me. You know, like you know, I, I have I have friends that? who would prescribe. That? Well, I have friends that grow in every state, and they have multiple companies in every state, and they just they kind of are self consulting. There's no degree for this, you know, but they're giving people products based on what they know and have documented with other types of treatment and and seeing the results and. Um, I'm actually going to be hosting a class, I think, from a cancer patient that's currently Mm -hmm. on his third year of life versus getting like a month to live Mm -hmm. diagnosis and using cannabis in conjunction with other, you know, Western medicine. And other modalities. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because, you know. Because if if you go to a natural treatment center, there's a lot of different modalities. Like it isn't just the, you know, here, take this, this uh, THC, you know, it's, it's a lot of different, you know, it's light therapy, right. In Mm -hmm. conjunction with light therapy, you know, uh, coffee enemas, you know, I mean, Mm -hmm. like the, the herb, um, eliminating sugar, you know, right. right. The, the, um, the. Oh, the little polstice, you know, like putting your herbs in. I mean, there, there's a multitude of things that you need to do. To Can you describe for me the avatar, in, <laughs> we're going to use today's in terms, yeah. the avatar of the person, the, the average person or your target market that would come into your shop and purchase product? I think because of the way THC and CBD is so much Uh, help people under a lot of stress and fatigue and external pressures of the world um, that it's it's you know middle-aged people that are probably looking for more healthy alternatives to pharmaceutical medicines Um, and I'm gonna guess that middle-aged as well because um, they've already probably been through some of the pharmaceuticals and, you know, have taken some of those mm-hmm. prescriptions that haven't either gotten them where they want to be or helped or or realized that this isn't something I want to be on all my life mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because now it, you know, listen to the commercials. Or, right? yeah, it's or giving have you a bad every... experience. Yeah, or, or sometimes you're just getting thrown more pills and it's like, yes, how many pills right. are you on? And so, yeah. and that's, I think people, you know, are looking for different solutions, more natural solutions. And so that would be kind of one of the demographics or somebody that hasn't smoked in a little while, but they used to, and they're just, 
they're nervous about it because the game has changed drastically. There's, you know, concentrates out there and it's like, it looks very much like a science experiment, what people are doing yeah, and some things like that. So I think that we're an approachable shop for, uh, for Minnesotans where they can come in and not know things and we're okay with that. We want to help them be educated on what they're using and why they're using it and where it's coming from. I'm curious about a couple of things here right now. First of all, I want to know about the the creams and lotions. The skin is the largest organ in your mm-hmm. body. So creams and lotions from a pain management. We mentioned Ben Gay, mm-hmm. uh, and I want to pick on Ben Gay because. But there are other products like that. Young Living has a product like mm-hmm. that that I just love. Yeah, because they're amazing. Yes, mm-hmm. because I can put. I I have an ache and I put it on. I smash my hand when I was a, a kid, and and it hurts sometimes. It just hurts and I rub that stuff on there and you know, it relieves it uh, where nothing else did ever ever you know yeah. uh, so I'm I'm curious about the use of that and when we talk about the avatar the person that's coming in my impression is it's going to be someone that that leans more towards the natural side of the equation mm-hmm. as opposed to a western medicine side so to speak because they're they're willing to experiment with alternative approaches to solve their problem, and maybe are a little bit more healthy conscious, healthy minded conscious. Mm-hmm. Am I out of out of line? No, I agree. Yet? Because you know, I think that you and and really to get you know the high quality products and stuff like it, it isn't an ex an expen- inexpensive journey. Mm-hmm. So you know, we want to help also guide people to get the right things for what they're looking for but you're right I mean it's the creams are huge because you can use those on a number of pains and ailments just CBD alone will will do a a miracle for your body if you've never tried an organic CBD cream you should definitely try one and and that's the other thing you know it seemed like when the farm bill was lifted in 2018 all of a sudden everywhere you turn there's all these CBD shops Mm -hmm. right and it's just like you know, you, it, like anything, right, you need to know where your ingredients are coming from and where it's farmed and is it, you know, organic or not because, you know, you don't know what's in it. Yeah. Right. And that was a passion of mine, too, is to bring this to Minnesota the right way because it's popping up in uh, smoke shops and things like that and being done the wrong way. Mm-hmm. And and so I want I want Minnesotans to thrive because cannabis is legal now, economically as a society, health-wise as a society. I mean, you'll be able to grow your own medicine at home. This is Our Healthy Homes, ourhealthyhomes.com. We come back, I want to know how (laughs) Ganja Mamas differentiates itself from other uh, uh, shops, for one thing. I want to know what you see as your your main competitor or threat as you build this business out going forward and as it grows. What do you see as a threat to your business going forward? This is Our Healthy Homes, ourhealthyhomes.com. Hey, welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. This is Our Healthy Homes, ourhealthyhomes.com. Something during the break that just came up with me. The lovely and talented Sheila's in the studio, ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) I'm usually am, aren't I? All right, so... (laughs) I got thinking about this one. I was when in between segments. You know, I'm th- I'm sober 35 years, yes. right? Or 30, whatever. Oh, right. Maybe yeah, going on 40 years. So I kind of worry about that st- standpoint. I got addictive personality. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, I can see it in my everyday stuff when I get hooked on something, mm-hmm. uh, you know, a, a task or, you know, whatever project it is. It's just like I'm all in. Mm-hmm. Um uh, how do you? How does that affect you and your business? I mean, what what cautions are there out there about? Yeah, that? I mean, you know, just like you're saying with the alcohol industry mm-hmm. and bars being everywhere and alcohol being everything, like you can misuse it mm-hmm. for sure. Um, we want to promote safe, educated use through, um, and it's a great entry point with the low dose market. I think mm-hmm. with Minnesota, oh, sure. so they yeah. can't over use it and have those bad experiences. I myself haven't drank in three and a half years. Okay. And that's been an issue throughout my life for me. Cannabis helps uh, me medically and it almost in a way has, I feel like helped keep me sober, which is a really weird thing to say. Mm -hmm. But I've talked to a lot of other alcoholics that that do use cannabis and they say the same. And I've read research on the fact that CBD is the big part of that. Actually, CBD is been helping a lot of addicts with uh, chronic uh, addictions mm-hmm. recover at a much 
faster rate or stay abstinent from whatever their addiction was. All right. So, so now so. back to my original question yeah. I was going to ask you <laughs> this segment, and that is uh, your business. Yes. Uh, uh, how do you differentiate yourself then from others that are coming? Uh, and what what concern do you have that you know, all of a sudden Walgreens isn't going to be the huge uh, distributor and you know wipe all the little guys out? Well, it's yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so yeah, I think we differentiate because of I mean we're non-threatening. We come into our space. It's warm. It's inviting. It's, it's super not cute. like it's not like a dark smoke shop. It's and I want people to be able to ask us questions to get their you know get recommendations and help to you know that actually works without mm-hmm. spending all this money and not knowing what works sometimes people are just coming in to be like hey it's the weekend we don't want to drink with this weekend we're just getting a couple thc seltzers instead you know oh. so that's a great option that mm-hmm. people have been using instead of alcohol which mm-hmm. i think is far less destructive uh to families uh we don't have as much violence right. domestic abuse around cannabis use versus alcohol so uh so there's some some pros and cons right. i guess right. to it all i think the major threat to our business is um you know navigating this space in really what's unnavigated it's it's a little sure. bit hard when you're in a business mm. that isn't federally legal but the state has legalized and it's like i'm all into it uh because i want to help people through mm-hmm. this business and help learn uh, help people learn about the plants and product in minnesota um but you know one of the biggest risks i guess is like navigating this world where your payment processors sometimes just terminate you without notice right and you know so there's a lot of risks of not having a path to follow really but and how do you do that because federally you can't even run the money through a federal banking system we have banks that are able to work with us on the hemp basis okay. now, and it sounds like they're going to continue to work with us through cannabis, so I'm not sure how that's treated by their insurance, but... Um, Save your cash. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's interesting. Is, are you, is yours a franchise business, or is just uh, kind of are you just doing this bootstrapping it? Right now, we're one location, and okay. I'd like to have other locations. Okay, in the but future. you you didn't go out and buy a franchise. No, this is all me, all my concept so how, name. So how everything. do you get this all put together? I mean, I'm just thinking of myself. <sighs> right. I mean, we started a restaurant from scratch, but there's infrastructure in place already for a restaurant, for restaurants. Right. Yes. For this, where there's nothing. I mean, where do you even get the distributors? Where do you get the suppliers? Do you have all one supplier? Or do you work with multiple? suppliers tell us about it's that. multiple suppliers now because it's more like farm to table approach mm-hmm. so we're getting a distribution kind of going I think for the industry we all have to come together on this because it'll make sense for all of us mm-hmm. and to keep Minnesotans in 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 tighten it into it to unify together uh-huh. in a lot of ways um, but yeah it's I mean I've been in mortgage residential mortgage for the last 20 years so I'm used mm-hmm. to getting told no and being like no the guy the guidelines this yeah fighting for right, it right, right. or figuring work out a around. way that it does work right and so that's you know getting told no is not something new to me um, but I had a lot of passion for this like I said and um, I Anywhere I'd go that had legalization, I would go to three or four different dispensaries and I would be judging them sure. on mm-hmm. their products they have, you know, to the how I was treated, to the mm. experience, to how that, you know, just everything. Mm-hmm. So I kind of just had an interest in this, mm-hmm. I guess. I don't know. And so when you have a passion or something yeah. like yeah. that, you just start you to develop. If I were to do it, this is how I would do it. And um, I guess I'm... I'm just a go-getter. And what are your hours? Give us your location again, yeah. where people can can find you. So we're at nine five nine one Sixtieth Street North in Lake Elmo, Minnesota. We're on the north side of Min- Lake Elmo, um, so on Highway Thirty Six. Okay. We actually share uh, property with MYP Landscape Supply and okay. Valdez. So. Uh, and then your it's store a cute hours. little house. Yeah, your it's store. like a house kind of right off of cute, the freeway. Cute little rambler. Okay. Take okay. a right-hand turn off of Highway 36 to us right after you cross underneath the huge telephone pole. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. I tell people. Um, and we're hoping to expand from there. I went to Lake Elmo because there were a lot of cities that restricted this early on. Okay. Lake Elmo did not. And so I just, I did a lot of research on the front end and figured out that that was a community that was close to home for me. Yeah. And, um, the demographic of people that I felt like I could speak to and knew and, um, could help with this. And, uh, and, and what are your store hours? So yeah, we're open from weekdays from uh, noon until seven. And then on the weekends from 10 until six at the moment. 
Our website is myganjamamas.com. I'll spell that. <laughs> it's M-Y-G-A-N-J-A. M A M A S dot com. So that's do you open spend, every day. Yeah. Yeah. Seven the days website. A week. Yep. And you can order online. We can ship to you, deliver okay. to you, et cetera. Um, and that's legal. Mm-hmm. To ship. Well, tell us about uh, your staffing then. Who staffs the. Are you there personally? I'm there a lot. I have a family member that works for me and two other employees in okay. place. Okay. That's what the uh, shift? Yeah. You know, and uh, fortunately, you know, it's it's been. Uh, it's been positive, and we have people popping in all the time that would like to work for us okay. and stuff. So <laughs> That's good. I think we're going to start to like host some career-centric events at the store as well. Get a for free people. shift brownie. Well, yeah, I mean, right. this is going to be right. a huge <laughs> business for a Minnesota industry, uh-huh. a mm-hmm. one point two billion dollar per year industry. So when you think about the tax revenue that's even bringing to the state, yeah. every single year, twelve million dollars of tax revenue to the state every at year. least yeah, at least yeah. exactly so there's going to be you know a need for people specialize in transport and security and um you know in financing mm-hmm. cannabis like really any industry in marketing could step out and create a business in the cannabis space which is really exciting for minnesotans i think mm-hmm. so if you had uh you're sitting down in the uh, starbucks mm-hmm. and uh mm-hmm. someone has been listening to this show and they see you sitting over there and and uh, they're they're kind of curious about it, and, and they and they went over and sat down with me and said, "Hey, Amber G, tell tell me what you didn't say on the radio show. What what would you tell them? What I didn't say on the radio show. What's the one point that you'd really want to make? I think it's interesting. You know, the way that this is passed is good. Like, there, Minnesota's going to right the wrongs kind of it made. And there's so many people that still can't vote because they had some sort of a cannabis uh, charge. And okay. I heard now that there there is a thing that's going to go through. They're going to expunge ev- Expungement. I think expunge that that's everything. a really cool thing that we didn't even touch on today that was passed in the bill. There was amazing people that if, with Minnesota's Ready that helped draft and spent hours of volunteer time to get this thing through the best way that they could. You know, some states vote this in on a mass vote, but mm-hmm. that wasn't done, it wasn't done that way in mm-hmm. Minnesota. Um, so there's a lot of great people behind it and great things that are within that bill too for Minnesotans like the expungement um, and that Minnesotans have to look forward to. So my my uh, my, my, my uh, statement, I guess, to the listener is if you haven't, thought about it <laughs> or if you're thinking that this is some kind of a oh we're going down you know everything's going to hell in a handbasket here mm-hmm. and the world is coming to an end just think about this there are millions of people uh, out there right now who have tried everything mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they've gone the western route they've tried pain medications they've they've, they've tried narcotics they've, they've tried everything that they can think of and this might be a a vehicle for them or a way to maybe get into the more natural side of things. And like uh, marijuana has always been ridiculed as being a gateway drug Mm -hmm. into more hardcore drugs. It might be that it's a gateway into natural medicine and holistic and a more healthy lifestyle uh, rather than uh, the corrupted lifestyle that uh, people accuse it of. Do you have something, honey? Yeah, you know, we think we think nothing, okay, and I'm, I'm like super guilty of this, but we think nothing of that diet pop we're drinking, and you're talking to right. somebody that has aspirin, that right. had aspartame poisoning mm-hmm. and end up in the hospital for it. We think nothing of the uh, glyphosate and all the chemicals that are in the junk foods. You know, we think nothing of that. Like, that's just, that's just so normalized mm-hmm. that you wait, you know, mark the word. Wait till marketing has gotten a hold of this one. Exactly, right? <laughs> and, I mean, it's, it's you know, it, it's unfortunate that people go go all in on Western first and then when they're desperate and there's no other, you know, And many thing times and, then it's too late. And then many times it's too late. So don't wait. Yeah. It's not this too is late. Our Healthy Homes, OurHealthyHomes.com. Give the lovely and talented Sheila a ring-a-ling-a-ling, 651-775-9194. She'll answer any questions that you may have and get you pointed in the right direction. OurHealthyHomes.com. We'll see you next week. But when he calls me sugar I love that man with all my might Sugar in the morning Sugar in the afternoon Sugar after dinner Sugar in every room He says
When he calls me that name, it does things to me. I tell him, honey, you can call. 